Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Welcome to this lecture In this lecture we have a logical problem We have to solve it using uh, equivalence and uh, in a tabulated form uh, this problem states that uh, someone uh, someone asks a person A, are you a knight? He replies, I am a knight, then I will eat my hat. Now, we have to prove that, uh, prove this, that A has to eat his hat. Now, we will represent these uh, statements here. A, a uh, is e equivalent to A is a knight, this statement, and H is equivalent uh, that A eats his hat. Now, uh, look at this uh, preposition. Uh, here, uh, it says that uh, if uh, I am a knight, then I will eat my hat. No. Here we will look at this uh, statements. Uh, if I am a knight, then I will eat my hat. Uh, this is represented by A implies H. Here we have another uh, supposition or we have a statement uh, X uh, double implies S. Uh, the condition for uh, x double implies s is not mentioned in this, in this problem but uh, this means that uh, x implies uh, s uh, sorry x uh, double implies uh, s means that a person uh, a person if uh, a person is a knight it will always say the truth so uh, we have seen that x implies s means a person a uh, person uh, who is a knight it will always uh, uh, says the truth so we can say that uh, if a person a eats his head then that person that uh, every person will be a knight so here we will prove that uh, uh, a implies h uh, and a double implies a implies h so we will prove this by uh, a uh, in a tabular form so here uh, in a tabular form we have uh, uh, we know about the implication a implies h uh, it, if both these statements are true then a implies h are, are true uh, uh, if h is true uh, then uh, uh, a implies h is true here h is true a implies h is true here h is true a implies h again it is true uh, means that a person have eaten its head so uh, uh, a implies h is true here if a is true and h is false then a implies h is false because the person did not eat his uh, head and if both of the uh, propositions are uh, false then a implies h is again true now we will come to the next uh, table where we have to prove a, a double implies a implies h so double implication uh, means that either uh, a, uh, a and b should be equivalent so a if a is true and a uh, implies h is true then a double implies double implication a implies h is true so here a is true 
if both the statements are true then a implies h is true if both the sides a a implies h are true then it is true and if a is false and a implies h is false then again uh, a a double implication is true so we will see uh, this uh, t uh, a is true a implies h is true so a double implies a implies h is true uh, here uh, uh, we have uh, one of the statement is false so it will be false again one of the statement is false so a double implication h uh, a implies h will be false here again one uh, one uh, of the statement is false so this will again uh, false no uh, we will look at this table a implies a implies h it is the same table but we have uh, an h entry uh, so we will compare the a and a implies h so this is the table a and this is a implies h so a a implies h so here it is true for all the other uh, uh, inputs the uh, uh, a, a double implication is false because if you see uh, uh, you will only compare uh, the, this uh, input and uh, this input so uh, the result of these two inputs will uh, bring the output uh, a implies h uh, a double implies a implies h so only it is true when a and these two are uh, true now this is the uh, uh, tabular form now we will look at the equivalence uh, how it can be proved by the equivalence so first of all we have this statement uh, a double implies a implies h so this can be uh, broken down into a double implies not a or h how uh, uh, a implies h and not a or h are equivalent so here i will show you <coughs> so uh, uh, a Im double implies not a or h so if uh, we look into it uh, and we replace a with not a uh, for example here it is false uh, it is true uh, so we will replace it by false so false true is true uh, then it is false we will replace it by true so true true is again um, true and it is true we uh, uh, replace it by false so it will become uh, true and uh, if we uh, replace it by true so it will become false so again uh, it is equal to we have true 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 and false uh, if you look into it so these are the same three outputs we have uh, true and uh, one output we have false so a implies h uh, we can uh, say that it is equivalent to not a or h no uh, again uh, this can be further uh, ec uh, this can be further expand to the next form uh, written now look at this um, uh, how it 
uh, has been expanded how it becomes uh, equivalent to a double implies not a r h equivalent to this one so uh, here uh, if we have uh, a equivalent to uh, double equivalent to b this can be represented by uh, exclusio nor get so exclusio nor get is uh, like a b uh, plus a not and b not so if you see that uh, it is a b uh, and not a and not b and this plus is uh, equivalent to r now uh, we will take this portion uh, this portion is equal to a and not a r h so this is further uh, expand as a and not uh, a or a and h so this is false uh, a plus uh, a multiplied by a not uh, which is equal to false uh, it will be always equal to zero so here we have deduce it as false or a and h so here false or a and h will be equal to a and h here elimination rule is applied now uh, we will uh, look at the other portion uh, that is not a and not not a or h so it is uh, not a uh, and uh, a and not h if we further reduce this it will be equal to not not will be cancelled with each other it will become a or not h and we have not a not a and uh, and uh, a and not h which is equal to not a and a uh, and not h further we can uh, uh, expand write it like this so this is again not a and a is false and not h so this is this is false so here uh, this portion is false and from this portion we have deduce a and h so false and a and h will uh, deduce a and h so uh, we have concluded logically uh, that uh, it will eat the night will eat a hat thank you very much